Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And that power is going to be put to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Viang. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. The search continues for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Tingnan natin kung kakayanin nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition when we reveal a new K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. We have John. John is an engineering student of Colegio de Montalban who enjoys watching TV, playing instruments, and singing. Sunod naman ay si Trix. Si Trix ay isang nursing student ng Our Lady of Fatima University na gusto namang matutong tumugtob ng instrumento. Next, we have Patrick. Patrick is also a student of Colegio de Montalban, taking up computer engineering. His hobbies are listening to OPM bands and underground rap artists. And finally, we have Angelo. Si Angelo ay criminology student mula sa Best Link College of the Philippines. He also plays musical instruments and listens to hip-hop artists. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First off, we have Professor Glezi Alcienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Susunod naman ay si Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, this is round one. Make sure you wait until you are acknowledged by the host. Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. The term Dutch refers to a native of what country? The term Dutch refers to a native of the Netherlands. Question number two. What word may mean a type of round bread or a verb meaning to turn over? That type of round bread or a verb meaning to turn over is also known as a roll. Question number three. What is the medical term that literally means inflammation of joints? Sakit ng mga young ones, arthritis. Question number four. In what central Luzon province do they hold the Giant Lantern Festival from December 16 to January 1 every year? That Giant Lantern Festival is held in Pampanga. Question number five. In 2021, which female singer released the hit songs We Are Good, Love Again, and Cold Heart? Angelo. Eilish. Billie Eilish. Naku, hindi si Billie Eilish. Mayroon pa ba tayong time? Hindi ba kayo napakanta nung narinig niyo ang Cold Heart by Dua Lipa? Sounds familiar, no? Question number six. Which actor played the title role in the John Wick series of movies? John Wick, parang kilala ni Patrick si yan. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number seven. In math, what number must you multiply to five to get 80? You multiply five by 16 to get 80. Question number eight. An SUV is a car classification that combines elements of road-going passenger cars with features from off-road vehicles. What does SUV stand for? Nako, 
hindi ka na umabot, Angelo. But the correct answer is sports utility vehicle. Question number nine. The largest edible tree fruit in the Philippines may weigh more than 50 kilograms. What is this sweet and yellow fruit? Tricks. Mango. Mm, the answer is incorrect. The sweet and yellow fruit that can weigh more than 50 kilos is the langka or jackfruit. Question number 10. Which former Philippine president was the subject of a complaint of grave threats filed by Representative Franz Castro? Time's up na. The correct answer is former President Rodrigo Duterte. Question number 11 in math terms. What do you call the number resulting from the division of one number by another? The correct answer is quotient. Last question for this round. What number composes the title of a 2023 hit song of June Cook and Lato? Sounds like a K-pop kind of question, tamaba. The correct answer is seven. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, attorney. So after that round, we have Patrick in the lead with 10 points. At sina John, Trix, and Angelo, Angelo. Kayang-kaya nyo pa humabol sa susunod nating dalawang rounds. Okay, so chikahin natin yung uh -huh, mga contestants. Ating mga contestants. Para... Masyado yata ang kinakabahan ng ating mga contestants. Uh -huh, wala dapat yung nerves. Shake-shake uh -huh. kayo. Shake it off, sabi nga ni Taylor Swift. Maghuntahan oh. muna tayo ng konti. Ayan, ito namang Swift muna. <laughs> okay, sige. Ito, so si John naman. Si John ay isa sa ilan natin uh, naging K-Check contestants na nagsabing mahilig sila tumugtog ng instruments. Pero, hindi niya sinabi kung ano ang tinutugtog niya. So, John, pwede mo bang i-reveal sa amin kung ano itong instrument na to? Ano po? Guitar. Yung ano? Ah, guitar. Guitar. Tumutugtog ka ba ng Taylor Swift? <laughs> Strike two. Nung gumising ka ba kanina eh, si Taylor Swift ang tumutugtog sa radyo mo? Parang yes. hindi ko malimutan yes. si Taylor Swift. Oo nga. Tinanong ko pa. So baka matulungan mo si Trix naman. Gusto niya namang matutong tumugtog. Ano namang instrument ang gusto mong matutunan, Trix? Mukhang base sa, sa sagot ni Jan. Guitar lang ang choice mo. Guitar and drum. Ay, guitar and drum. And drum. Bakit naman guitar and drums? Well, ano po kasi sa last... Siguro wala kayong kapitbahay. Drums. <laughs> <laughs> last previous po kasi yung sa church po namin. Ah. The other episode, meron din nasa ministry ng church, di ba? Oh. Isang banda Actually, sila. Actually, dumadami sila. Yes, pati okay. mga football players natin. <laughs> Maraming salamat sa mga contestants. Later naman ay chichikahin din natin si Patrick at saka si Angelo. Pero sa ngayon, get ready because we're about to go into round two sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. So tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check na nangunguna si Patrick with 10 points. At kailangan pa rin humabol ni John Trix at Hangelo dito sa susunod natin na round. Right, pero bago yan, tuloy pa rin ang ating tsikahan. Unahin mm -hmm. natin ngayon si Patrick na mahilig makinig ng OPM and underground rap artist. So Patrick, sino-sino ba itong mga artist na paborito mo? At nag-rap ka rin ba? Hindi po actually nag-rap. Pero may mga pinapakinggan po ako siya. Ano, si Lunigan po, kaya Alan Zeta. Yan po yung mga pinapakinggan ko ng artist. Napapakinggan din namin ni Atty. Mamaya. Hmm. Bakit sila tinatawag na underground rap artist? Kung mag hindi pa po sila, ano? wala pa po sa mainstream, hindi pa po sila. Hmm. Kaya yeah, hindi ko pa alam. I think iba sa Usually, kanila. Usually pag hindi sila underground, kinalang kinalang na sila. <laughs> Yung iba ata sa kanila tumutugtog <laughs> sa UP Fair. Apo. 
Ay, like si Luni po. Yun. Si Luni, di ba? Mm. Wow. <laughs> Sinabi niya. <laughs> <laughs> well, sunod naman si Angelo. Ano ang future ng isang criminology student? Ano ba ang gusto mong, ano? Ang But, weird pagtagalo, ano ang gusto mong maging? Mm -hmm. ba? Ah, Pag maging. ikaw ay isang graduate ng criminology. Police po. Police talaga. A detective. Gusto mo rin bang maging detective or later pa yun? Later na lang po. Ah. Mag at isa ka rin na kailangan mag-reveal kung anong instruments ba ang tinutugtog mo. Kung magamit lang po ako ng um, mga instrument dun sa YouTube, then nilalagay ko po sa may isang app. Kung baga, ginagawa, ano, isa po akong ano, songwriter. Oh, wow. Talagang marami ah, talagang po. talent. Tong... And rapper din. Oh, kung gagawa ka ng rap nungkol sa K-Check, anong first line na isusulat mo? Sige, babalikan ka namin. Sige. Na. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, ang ating very musically inclined oh, contestants. Mm. Well, contestants, it's now time for round two. So, get ready to buzz in and make sure to strategize at laging tandaan. Wait to be called before you answer because if you answer before you're called, your answer will not be given any credit. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points in case of incorrect answers. Let's, Let's begin. begin! Let's begin. Question number one. An anemometer is a device used to measure the speed of what? The correct answer is wind. Question number two. Complete the title of L. Frank Baum children's novel, The Wonderful Wizard of Blank. The correct answer is Oz. That's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Okay? Question number three. Which common bird, known as a sparrow in English, was the national bird of the Philippines before 1995? Hindi po umabot. Pasensya na. The correct answer is Maya. Ayun yung nakikita niyo lagi. Okay. Question number four. Oceania is a large region of the world consisting of the Pacific Islands and the seas around it. What is the largest country in Oceania? The correct answer is Australia. Okay, question number five. In mathematics, particularly trigonometry, what function is equal to the ratio of the sine to the cosine of an angle? The correct answer is tangent. Question number six. In science, what do you call the periodic movement of animals seasonally from one location to another? Hindi umabot six. Sayang. The correct answer is migration. Question number seven. Pedro Alonso played the title role in which spin-off of the TV series Money Heist, named after the capital of Germany? The correct answer is Berlin. Question number eight. What European country was occupied by Russian military troops on February 24, 2022? The correct answer is Ukraine. Question number nine. What TV crime drama premiered in 2008, starred by Brian Cranston as a high school chemistry teacher named Walter White? The correct answer is Breaking Bad. Question number ten. What greenhouse gas 
having the chemical formula CH4 is colorless and odorless and was a subject of the COP28 pledge in 2023. The correct answer is methane. Question number 11. What type of fish, which may be bluefin or yellowfin, is the most consumed fish in the world, according to a UN report? The correct answer is tuna. Last question for this round, number 12. Luke Humphreys became a world champion in what sport played by throwing pointed projectiles into a circular board? Patrick. Dart. Dart or darts is correct. K-check. And that ends round number two. So mag points recap tayo after the second round. Well, in the lead si Patrick with 30. He was also in the lead after yes. the first round. And John Tricks at saka si Angelo, kailangan pa talagang humabol dito sa ating pangatlong round. That's right. Tama nga yan. Hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. At nagbabalik po ang K-Check with Patrick in the lead with 30 points, with John, Trix, and Angelo all waiting to catch up in yes. this third round sa ating ultimate pagalingan round. So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Siyempre dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. To kick off our pagalingan round, let's start off with Prof. Glessy. Hello. Oh, ito ha. She was a famous Ilonggo writer who penned the poem, Ang Gitara, Matamis Kong Pagkabata, among other famous writings. What is the name of this famous Iloilo-based woman writer? Letter A, Magdalena Hoxon. Letter B, Magdalena Halandoni. Letter C, Mirabella Junio. Letter D, Arabella Huico. And letter E, Mirasol Juliano. Six. A. Wrong answer. Angelo. Arabella Huni. Ah, sorry. Wrong answer. John. Letter B po. The correct answer is letter B, Magdalena Halandoni. K-check. So, nagtay na si John at saka si Patrick. Tignan na natin ang question galing kay Prof. Neil. Hindi ko alam kung mahirap tong tanong na ito, pero world history ito. Ano ang hindi daylan sa pagbagsak ng Imperyong Romano? So, ang focus dapat hindi daylan sa pagbagsak ng Imperyong Romano. A. Laganap na korupsyon. B. Lubhang paglawak ng Imperyo. C. Paglaganap ng epidemya. D. Pananalakay ng mga grupong etniko tulad ng mga Huns. E. Walang tamang sagot. Patrick. B. Uh, mali. A, naganap ng corruption. Mali. Anyone can steal? John. C. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, paglaganap ng epidemia, K-check. Si Prof. Marla. Which scientist proposed the theory of natural selection as a mechanism for evolutionary change? A. Gregor Mendel B. Charles Darwin C. Alfred Wallace D. Louis Pasteur E. Francis Crick Patrick Charles Darwin Letter B D. Charles Darwin is correct K-check 
Next question. These priests were featured in the Gomburza, a, a multi-awarded film on the 19th century Filipino martyrs. What are the full names of these three martyr priests? Letter A, Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, Jacinto Zamora. Letter B, Ricardo Gomez, Josefino Burgos, Ramon Zamora. Letter C, Marito Gomez, Jacinto Burgos, Felipe Zamora. Letter D, Meliton Gomez, Rodolfo Gomez, Jared Zamora. And letter E, none of the above. John, letter A. The correct answer is letter A, Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, Jacinto Zamora. K-check. Parang madaming nag-react nung pinanggit mo ang Ramon Zamora. I think it's a generational thing, yes. Prof. Neil? Doon lang ako nakarelate. Nakarelate ako sa 19th century martyrs. Next question. Samtoy also refers to what language or ethno-linguistic group in the Philippines? A. Picolano B. Ilocano C. Chinoy D. Waray Itasaday Ilocano Tamang sagot ay letter B. Ilocano K-check From Marla What is the term used to describe the explosion of a star resulting in an increase in brightness? A. Supernova B. Asteroid C. Comet D. Nebula E. Meteor Patrick A. Supernova A. Supernova is correct. K-check Next question What color is associated with a black Nazarene? A. Red B. White C. Blue D. Maroon E. Black Angelo Black po E. Letter E Wrong answer. John. Red. Wrong answer. Patrick. D. Maroon. The correct answer is letter D. Maroon. K. Chen. Philippine geography. Bais, Kanlaon, at Domaguete ay mga lungsod ng anong probinsya sa Visayas? A. Cebu. B. Iloilo C. Leyte D. Negros Occidental E. Negros Oriental Patrick, letter D. Negros Occidental Mali Patrick, letter E. Negros Oriental Ang tamang sagot ay letter E. Negros Oriental K-check Prof. Marla what organisms are responsible for building coral reefs? A. Octopuses B. Sea turtles C. Sea urchins D. Coral polyps E. Jellyfish Six. Letter A. Octopus Mali Angelo Sea urchin Mali John B. Sea turtles. Mali. Letter D. Coral polyps. You said D. Coral polyps. That's the correct answer. K check. So we now enter into our last round. Okay. Sa ultimate pagalingan round. Ito na. Who was the director of the first Cebuano moving picture? Bertoldo Ugbalodoy in 1939. Letter A, Patrocinio Baldovino. Letter B, Patrocinio Villafuerte. Letter C, Julian Cruz Balmaceda. Letter D, Pio Cabahar. And letter E, Rizil Mojares. Letter B, C. Patrocinio Villafuerte is wrong. Angelo, A, Patrocinio Baldovino. Wrong. John. Letter D, Pio Cabahar. Correct answer is letter D, Pio Cabahar. K-check. 
Philippine geography ulit. Which city in Bicol is named after an active volcano? A. Bulusan B. Iriga C. Naga B. Sorsogon E. Toril Tricks. Naga Mali Anyone can steal? Angelo. Iriga Letter B. Iriga Congratulations kay Angelo Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Iriga. And for the last question on this round, Professor Marla. What is the main function of antibiotics? A. Treat viral infections. B. Treat fungal infections. C. Treat parasitic infections. D. Treat bacterial infections. E. Treat protozoal infections. Angelo, letter D, treat bacterial infections. D, treat bacterial infections is correct. K-check. And that's it for our K-check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Patrick, our K-check daily winner with a final score of 120 points. We will see Patrick again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in the semi-finals. Maraming salamat din kina John, Trix, and Angelo for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Guiang. At ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check. K -check.